All right, I've got a discount for you. We're talking Xbox Live. Loads of gaming discounts. All you have to do is go to my description, copy my code from the description, paste my code. Woof, it's gaming time. Right, I tell you, there, champs, and happy new year to all of you. 2020, a new decade. Let's do it. Now, CES is not very long away, and yes, I will be covering pretty much every laptop that I think is relevant at CES or any gaming sort of thing or whatever. Might be graphics announcement, who knows? But I'll cover what I think is relevant for you guys, no problems there. And if you're new around here, come on, so up, join the wheel train, hit that bell, ding a ling a dong, and let's make 220 awesome. Now, today I'm going to talk about the 2020 XPS 15, the next XPS 15 that should be out, well, very soon, within sort of like the first quarter. Now, first things first, if you just bought one, don't worry about it. I still recommend you buy them now because it's going to be at least three months. Also, now you can get great deals on XPS 15, so just buy them. And I recommend when the new model comes out, that's when you buy the older XPS 15s because they're great laptops and you can pick them up on a discount. Right now, Dell are doing sales with the XPS 15, and I highly recommend you buy it. Don't wait, because as you'll see, it's not going to be that much of an upgrade. Now, if we have a look here at the Dell roadmap, and so far, this has turned out to be true, like model names and everything. So I'm willing to believe this. And if you have a look here, right there, that's the current XPS 15. And what it says there is what I assume says Coffee Lake H, refresh, Okay, 8 core NV NVIDIA 1650. So if you look there, that's what I'm talking about. Coffee Lake HR refresh 8 core NVIDIA 1650. That's the current model now. Now the new one is due out at the end of March. And what this tells me is Comet Lake H, so it's not a refresh, it's not a Coffee Lake refresh, Comet Lake H. So that's 10th generation parts and also says NVIDIA 1650, okay? So if you're looking at the right spot there, that's what you're looking at. Now, things have changed since, you know, this says concept. If you have a look at the key up here, it says concept, but this will be the new version. Now, what are we expecting in the new version other than Comet Lake H, 10th generation CPUs and then NVIDIA 1650? Well, here's the thing, right? A lot of things have changed. Frank Azor has left Alienware and he's gone to AMD. Now call me crazy, but I reckon he'll be knocking on Alienware's door. And if you don't know who Frank Azor is, he was like the head of Alienware and head of XPS. He's gone to AMD now. He's heading up their gaming division. He's a C-level now. So he's chief gaming architect or so, I don't know, something like that. But anyway, he's at AMD in their gaming division. Now, I don't know if they got sort of non-compete or whatever. I reckon he'll be knocking on the door of Alienware and Dell and saying, hey, AMD have this great graphics part, the 5500. What about we stick it in the XPS 15 or even in some of the Alienwares? I would be very surprised if Frank is not doing that. There is some sort of chance we'll get an AMD instead of NVIDIA. But the way that sort of rebates work and NVIDIA will be giving them rebates and all this, you know, there's a lot of tacitly implied sort of uh, grease in the palms and uh, yeah it's all a bit dodgy i gotta tell you when it comes to business now will they announce this at ces i'm thinking no it has parts in here that are not announced which is the 10th generation cpus for a start and i wouldn't be surprised if there's a new 1650 coming out whether it's a 1650 super with six gigabytes of gd ddr6 i think nvidia have got to do something especially at the low end with the 1650 being beaten by the 5500 graphics now nvidia need to get back up on top and release a 1650 super so i would expect if the new xps 15 is going to have nvidia graphics I expect it to be NVIDIA Super with hopefully six gigabytes of graphics, a bit better performance. And you know NVIDIA, they don't like to be beaten by AMDs. So it will leapfrog the 5500 if that's the case. I don't expect anything new on displays. They're not going to bring out new OLEDs. OLED's going to be there. You're going to have the 4K touch and full HD display. I don't think it's going to go to 16 by 10. That's not happening, but it may be a new design. The redesign we've all been waiting for. Now the MacBook Pros come out with a new 16 inch. It's sort of the same design. Will they stick with the same design? I'm not sure because the current XPS 15, it's not out of date. It's still got the Infinity Edge display. It still looks bang on modern. It was really ahead of its time since 2015. So they don't really need to change the design. But a lot of people complain about thermals and stuff like that. So given that Apple have addressed thermals, they've addressed the graphics card. You know, they've given people what they want. Don't expect 
effective with like a 1660 Ti or something like that, you're not going to get that. It's going to be aluminium design. Look to the XPS 13 if you want to know what it's going to look like because history tells us that the XPS 15 just ends up looking like the XPS 13, just a bigger version of it. So I'll be very surprised if it doesn't look like the current XPS 13. Hopefully a couple of more Thunderbolt ports. Hopefully it has two M.2 drives instead of the one it has now. And hopefully they don't do what they've done with the Alienware and solder in RAM and invert the motherboard. I don't want that. But the reality is if they're going to go thinner and lighter, which they may do, they may be soldering in the RAM and they may go that inverted motherboard style. I don't know, but I hope not. What I hope happens is a new design like the XPS 13 has that sort of gore technologies. So it's really good at thermal dissipation and maybe some of the trickle down technology from you know the alienwares which have the new power delivery design the new phases and stuff like that hopefully we get a bit of that a bit more active cooling on the vrm a bit better thermal performance and upgrading the sound will be nice so at the end of the day will they announce it at ces in a couple of days i don't think so i wouldn't be surprised if they did we're expecting it at the end of march expect the same displays according to the roadmap we're getting an nvidia card a 1650 maybe a 1650 super we're getting comic lake cpus so that means temp generation probably 10 core cpus that's the one big thing that's going to happen we're going to have a more refined process it's going to be 14 nanometer cpus should be 10 cores so this thing is going to be amazing and hopefully they do some work on the thermals and they have the new design of the xps 13 and i reckon there's going to be a rejig on the ports so hopefully two thunderbolt 3s two m.2s and it would be nice with the sd card reader and at least one usb type a but it could just be another refresh right so it could be the same design just with the new parts very interesting times i cannot wait to see what happens hopefully they announce it at ces and say it's going to come out with the temp generation cpus and the next nvidia card maybe nvidia will announce the 1650 super at ces who knows stay tuned to this channel i will keep you bang up to date with the next xps 15 but don't stop buying now if you can get a deal on the current xps 15 it is an amazing laptop it's going to last you for years you can upgrade it uh, yeah definitely still buy it i mean there's always something around the corner and let's face it when the new one comes out you're not going to get a deal on it it's going to be full sticker price but 10 core cpus hopefully a new 1650 graphics new design thermals new ports or maybe it's just the refresh anyway catch you in the next one guys tally ho